How are you getting on? My name is John Joe and I work at Earth's Edge. I get asked all the time about altitude sickness and I thought I should just go ahead and explain it to everyone. The first thing I gotta tell you is I'm not a medical professional, so what I'm about to tell you is just my own personal opinion. Trekking at high altitude is generally tougher than at sea level as it's colder, the sun is stronger and it tends to rain and snow more. However, the biggest concern is hypoxia because the higher you climb from the sea, the less oxygen there is in the air. For example, at Machu Picchu, there is only 73% of the oxygen that's found at sea level. At Kilimanjaro, only 48%. And on the summit of Mount Everest, only 33%. The good news is the human body adjusts very well to high altitude when given enough time to acclimatize properly. I tell you lads, if I had a doggy treat for every time I told someone not to be stressing about altitude sickness, I would be a very fat dog. The key is to control the controllables and not to be stressing about getting sick. Here's what you need to think about. Make sure you have enough days in your itinerary for gradual ascent. You need to walk at a slow, steady pace from day one. As we say in the industry, start like an old dog, finish like a young dog. Eating well is really important as it keeps your energy up and be sure to stay well hydrated. Drink between four and six liters of water per day. And finally, make sure you get plenty of sleep. If you have any questions, give me a call on 01 5320869 or email info at earthsedge.com for the attention of John Joe and I'll get right back to you.